What is up, fellas? Number 68 of Jumbo. Good luck, boys and girls. We're going three times. Two and a one. Three times. Teams first. One, two, three. Yankees up to White Sox. Yankees up to White Sox on three. Here we go, boys. One, two, and three. Joey with the Yankees up to Herbert. There it is, boys. There it is. White Sox go to Herbert. We got a two-piece right there. Then another two-piece. Then another two-piece. Insane. Joey, Yankees, and Padres. And we got KC with Tampa. There it is, boys. We went three and three. Bam. All right. There's that. There's that. Boom. Bam. Zoom. I'll give you guys a few minutes to trade or sell here. While I upload these videos, take these over there, put the case on the screen. Alright, so the first thing I did was helmets, number 404, 405, alright. Eight twenty one, eight twenty two, eight twenty three, eight twenty four, There are your squads, guys. Helmets, jerseys are done. Good luck, boys. Because I kind of wanted to go to bed, but now I have to stay up. Let's pull that Dominguez fire, baby. We open up all these top loaders as well.
Cody. I called you for like 10 minutes, bro. I checked PayPal. I checked my other email. And I checked Philibux. I didn't see you. All right, I got this video started here. I don't have anything from you since Saturday at 9.30 p.m., buddy. All right, good luck on this, Bowman boys. All right, here we go. Did you send it to the right email, buddy? Refractor autograph Rutledge out of four ninety nine for the Nationals. Out of two fifty Levine for the Rockies. Yeah, just make sure you send to the right place, buddy, because I don't have anything on my end. I double-checked and everything. I knew you were good, but you weren't responding to me, buddy, so I had to pull you out. If you paid, we would never keep your money, bro. So just let me know, and I'll look for it again. Whitley for the Astros, $4.99. Four ninety nine George Springer for the Astros. It's time to reload. Autograph Madrigal out of 50 for the White Sox. Base autograph Duran for the Red Sox.
Base Auto Scooble for the Detroit Tigers. Atomic out of 150 Pache for the Braves. I'm rooting for you, Joey, man. 250 Kraus for the Rangers. Out of four ninety nine, Cabello for the Yankees. Refractor. Did anyone watch the UFC fights tonight with Nunez as the main event? Great two huge knockouts. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. There's something so satisfying about seeing a man get knocked out cold, bro. I don't know what it is. Whether it's the UFC or boxing, base autograph is in Diaz for the Marlins. Go look up um, Ryan Garcia's knockout against uh, Fr Fonseca, Francisco Fonseca. Watch his knockout, bro. That thing is crazy. Don't watch it slowed down, though. Watch it in real time, and you won't even see this dude hit this man. Gonzalez out of 75. Bro, his check left hook is literally so fast, you cannot even see it in real time, bro. That is how freaking fast his punch is. One guy was snoring. Dude, I freaking love UFC and boxing, man. Like, honestly, it's way more entertaining than even the Super Bowl to me, bro. 150, Kenneth Smith. Because let's be real, my garbage can team is never going to the Super Bowl while I'm living. So, definitely, UFC fights are way better than me, bro. My team just blows in the league. They know bueno. Kimbo Slice, yeah, man, rip. Dude, I, when I was younger, like 12, 13, I used to watch Kimbo Slice all the time, bro. He would knock these dudes out on the street. Seven million viewers, yeah, man. UFC and the net. UFC and NASCAR are legitimate geniuses. Baseball, on the other hand, is ran by a bunch of morons. If you were the, if you were the commissioner of the league, Manford, right? You really being stingy over not paying these players, but the risk of them getting hurt rushing back is. So high, bro. It's so high right now. Adam Hill for the Brewers base autograph.
Four ninety nine Dinneberg for the Nationals. Purple Auto Volpe for the Yankees out of two fifty. Hockey is very tough for me, bro. The only time I ever watch hockey is when the Stanley Cup Finals are on. And most of the time, I don't even watch the Stanley Cup Finals because there's NBA playoffs when the hockey playoffs are going on. So I don't even watch it much of the time. Out of 150, Chapman for the A's. Jason Dominguez. Out of 299, Owen Miller for the Padres. Dude, I'm so pumped for NBA to resume, man. I wish I was 21 so I could go to the bars and watch the game, bro, but. Me, G, Meg, D, and the crew will just watch it here and turn up for you guys. We don't need to go to bars to turn up. Screw the bar. We are the party, baby. We don't need no bar. When you're drunk and the Lakers lose, it makes it a little bit better. Man. Or a little bit worse, depending on... Depending on how upset I get. When Carolina lost the national championship, I put a hole. In, when Josh Jenkins hit that three, I put a hole in my wall, and I wasn't even drunk. Huff out of 4.99, straight sober, bro. I watched him. I was like 15 years old. He hit this three, and I was so furious. I put a hole in my wall because the. They didn't freaking guard this man. Scooble out of 125. Bro, Marcus Page hits like the most insane shot in national championship history for it to get canceled out by a wide open walk-in three-pointer by some scrub-a-dub-dub -dub who doesn't even play basketball anymore. I can't, bro. So stupid, man. It's so stupid. Don't even get me started. We should have won back to back titles, bro. It was legitimately remembered meaningless, but he hit a double clutch three pointer. You know how hard it is to hit a double clutch three, Joey? You know, bro. That that shot is impossible. I literally went from being so excited to instantly so furious I put a hole in my wall. And then I had to freaking go buy the supplies and pay my dad to patch the hole. That was my punishment. Plus I was grounded for my TV for like a freaking month. They took the TV out of my room. Bro, it was like the worst thing ever. Duran Sparkle. Bro, I used to I used to get like over like sporting events and like Fortnite and stuff. Bro, Fortnite There is no telling how many PS4 controllers that I broke because of Fortnite, bro. Like I would die on some BS on Fortnite. I would get furious and chuck my controller, bro. And honestly, I can say, since I started smoking pot, that, bro, my anger is, like, gone. Like, I never, I rarely ever get mad. And even when I get mad at someone, like, in a chat or something, I ain't even mad, bro. Like, it's, it's very hard to get me upset now, bro. Very few things piss me off. Seth Beer. I've learned that life is too short to be mad, bro. I already have gray hair and I'm like 20 years old. I ain't got time for gray hair. It's stressing over stupid shit, man. 
Groshans out of four ninety nine. Life's too short to worry about stuff. Listen, Marcus Page is playing there, bro, but I don't care what anybody says, man. Marcus Page, that man was filthy in college. Filthy, bro. Do you consider gaming a sport? Hell no, T-Fan. What you... Heck no. Gaming ain't no sport. It's definitely a skill... If you're good at playing video games, that's a skill you have, but it ain't no sport, bro. Vargas for the Dodgers. Gaming and cheerleading I put on the same level, bro. Out of 125, Kirloff for the Twins. Cheerleading is more of a sport, you're right, but I put them close to the same level, bro. Base autograph Varlin for the A's, bro, but even high school, like high school cheerleading and like school cheerleading in general, competitive cheerleading may be different, bro, because they do some crazy shit, competitive cheerleading, but bro, high, like a... Like a school cheerleading team is definitely ain't no damn sport. You standing out there waving pom poms. Getting up on some dude's shoulder once in a blue moon and holding up some signs. That ain't no damn sport. Darts? Are you serious? Do you know the skill it takes to play darts? That shit is definitely a sport. Shane wins. Cornhole? Cornhole is definitely a damn sport, bro. I've been watching professional cornhole. And I'm about to get filthy on them. Megs and G and the kids ain't gonna know what hit them once I get this professional throwdown, bro. Most of the time, I'm trash. Base autograph De La Cruz. But I feel like I'm better once I got a few drinks in me for cornhole, bro. I'm, I'm used to playing cornhole drunk, bro. That's the thing. Same thing with beer pong. Like, you can't play beer pong sober. You know what I'm saying? If you play beer pong, you gotta be teed up. Curling, uh, eh, $4.99, guilt, bro. I'm not going to lie. When, when the Olympics came on, bro, in high school, my senior year of high school, in one of my classes, we had to do an Olympic sport. We had to make a PowerPoint presentation on an Olympic sport. And my dumbass did curling, bro. I swear to God. You could pick anything you wanted. And your boy got like the last freaking pick. So everything was gone. Brennan Davis Atomic. So I was just like, F it. Give me curling. And me and my boy Tristan did like a freaking 15 minute presentation on curling. It's definitely a sport, bro. Curling. That. Dude, it, it is so hard. Go look at the top 10 curling shots of all time in Olympic history, and you will be amazed on how crazy these shots are, bro. Like, it's literally, like, insane, man.
axe throwing, bro, they got... I don't know why, but in, in the South or in North Carolina in particular, we got axe throwing places that also have bars. So you can go get drunk as shit and start throwing axes. Allen for the D-backs. So you got a bunch of drunk ass people throwing axes at a target. That's never a good idea. <laughs> never a good idea. <laughs> Thank you for getting in the best slot hits, man. Thank you for getting in, my dude. I just like opening cards, man. Like this Bowman. Sparkle Apostle, bro. I'm telling you. North Carolina is so screwed up. Like, it's insane. Like, I, you, pro, you guys have probably heard me say this 40 times, but I used to shoot skeet in high school on a school shooting team. We would have school shooting teams. You had to, like, pass the hunter safety course and take two other courses. You got to know how to use a compass and... 250 Rutschman and all kinds of stuff, but I would literally go out to practice, bro. And, and our, not for my school in particular, but for other schools, like we would go to Forbush and have an away tournament. Bro, they would have three shotgun setups with three traps. You had a rifle range, you had a compass course, bro, on, on school campus, on the school campus, bro, it literally blew my mind. They had shooting ranges, bro. We would literally pull up to the school parking lot, you would take an activity bus down the hill because they, you couldn't park down there and once the activity bus got you there dude there was freaking they had a shed straight full of guns that's just how it is here man like everybody and a mama carry guns around here and then they have like six or seven bro they got so many Different gun shows, like they got Winston gun shows. You go to Greensboro for gun shows. Charlotte, bro, they got them everywhere here, man. Literally, like every weekend, there's one in North Carolina somewhere. Out of 125 Casas. Oh, dude, I'm definitely going to try it when I turn 21. I'm definitely going to throw some axes, bro, for sure. Never shot a gun or a rifle in my life. 250 solace, bro. I've shot in so many rounds through my shotguns and my rifles and my handguns, bro. Too many to count, my dude. I grew up hunting and fishing, man. That's what I did. My free time when I was younger literally went to hunting, fishing, or target practice. That was it, bro. I loved it, man. Shooting skeet, 75 Rutschman is so fun, bro. 499 terrain. Shooting skeet is so much more fun than going hunting in general because... I ain't trying to brag or nothing, but I used to be insane, bro. I would shoot, like, three times a week. Dude, I loved it, man. Like, Bramer, so you would have five stations. You would have five stations, and you would shoot trap at... You would shoot... So you got 20 shots total, there's five stations, so you got four shots at each one, at each station, and I shot a perfect in tournaments probably 10 or 15 times, I got all 20 in a row.
What up, Maddie G? I'll buy your first 10 shots. Jesus Christ, bro. 10 shots right now. I'd be on the floor. KO'd or puking, bro. 10 shots. Maybe we can meet up at a national one of these years, Maddie G. I'll buy you a drink, bro. Honestly, Meg's put me on the Crystal Light train, bro. Crystal Light and vodka. I ain't gonna lie. You can't even taste the alcohol, bro. Shit's crazy. That's a skill you have for life if the world goes to crap, bro. I hope I don't ever have to use it, man. I don't... Honestly, even if I have to use it, bro, I don't know if I could take somebody else's life, man. Even if I, I just, I can't do it, bro. Like, I may talk a big game, bro, but I, you know, I couldn't. The per type of person I am, there ain't no way I could catch a body, bro. No way. I couldn't, I would just be... There's no way that that picture would ever leave my head, bro. And I already know because of how I am. Cantillo for the Padres. I love shooting guns. I love target practice. It, you know, it's more of a hobby, bro. I would consider it a hobby. Because I don't even go hunting anymore. But to me, like, I could go, you know, take my dad's 645 and shoot target practice all day, bro. I could sit there and shoot that gun for 12 hours straight and not have any problems with anyone. But when it comes to that, bro, I don't, it's just not the type of person I am, bro. Like I don't, I don't fight. Like that ain't, that ain't my mojo, bro. Like. Listen, if somebody wants to smoke, I'm the type of person to get somebody else to do my dirty work for me, dog. Like, if I, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm, a, if I'm at a party and homeboy's trying to take a girl I'm hollering at, bro, I'm just going to get somebody else to whoop his ass and kick him out. That's just the type of person I am, bro. I ain't about to, I ain't about to fight nobody. That's why you got people to do it for you. Out of 125 Hankins. When I was in college, bro, I would get into my fair share of, of, of scuffles, but my roommate was literally 6'4", 300 pounds, so... Literally, he would walk over and anyone who wanted to smoke would instantly walk away, bro, or leave. So it was kind of easy. You want to get rid of somebody, it wasn't too hard with him around. Maddie G is with it. Bro, if G's with me, Estevez, I feel like, bro, G definitely got my back in a fight. But I would never let G fight by himself, bro. Never in my life I would let G fight by himself. If it was just me and G and G got in a fight, I don't care if he in the wrong. I'm swinging with him. I don't care if I get my ass kicked. doesn't matter. My good friend knocked out John Scott. Bro, I got some crazy ass stories, dude. On my, on my roommate's 19th birthday, it was in March, my freshman year of college. Bro, some dude, I was rolling up in the corner. I rolled like four blunts. Homeboy came up and took one of my blunts off the table while I was licking one of them. And I saw him do it, bro. And he walked away and tried to finesse it. Homeboy goes in the corner and sparks a blunt with this dude. I told my roommate, I was like, yo, 
Oh, Wed Jr. True Blue. I was like, yo, go take care of this guy. He just took my shit. Dog, I've never seen a guy... Bro, he literally swore on his life that he didn't do it in front of my face, even though I seen him take it. Swore he didn't take it, wouldn't leave. He was just like, give me the blunt back and leave, bro. Like, that's it. That's all I want. And he kept denying it, kept denying it. Bro, this guy... Oh, my God. I. This guy literally got thrown out like a fucking toy, bro. Davis. My roommate picked this man up on his shoulders and threw him on the fucking gravel, bro. Just chucked him on the gravel and goes, bro, if you get up and walk one inch toward my way, you're a dead man. That's just how it was, bro. My roommate took care of everything for me. I never had to fight anyone. 299 Evan White. It was literally the best thing ever, bro. I appreciate you, Matty G. Getting hit in the face is fun. Bro, I don't like getting hit in the face, bro. I got glasses and stuff, man. I ain't trying to get hit. If my glasses break, that's a bad day for me because I got to go to the eye doctor, and I hate going to the eye doctor, man. I hate it. They dilate your eyes, make you read the signs. Out of 75, Seth Brown. I hate it, bro. 499, Mountcastle. First roll of Fight Club. I ain't in no Fight Club. Come on, dog. I told you, I don't fight, bro. I don't do it. Bro, the only time I got in trouble for in high school, bro, the only time I ever got in trouble... I got sent to the principal's office three times in high school. One time, some dude was pissing me off and I told him to shut the fuck up in class and the teacher sent me to the office for saying fuck. Sean Murphy. The second time, 499 Dylan Carlson, I was going to Bojangles with my boy Tristan at lunch and it's a closed campus so you cannot leave at lunch and we got called on the way back but I still smashed the food though the food was phenomenal and then the third time we were going to Wendy's and got caught coming back in I got it I got after school detention for that one and that was it bro literally like I got after school detention one time for going and getting Wendy's at lunch. And it wasn't even like I was skipping class, bro. I was just going to get... I used to get them, uh... The double stacks when they were on sale. You could buy, like... I think they were, like, a dollar a piece. Or you could go smack up a four for four. You go get a four for four and it would be, like, four dollars and, like, twenty-something cents. Bro, and it was the best thing ever. It was so cheap. Getting hit in the nose is the worst. Bro, I'm telling you, the only person I've ever fought in my life, 499 De La Cruz, was my brother, bro. And me and my brother got in some pretty bad fights, bro, but I was always scared I was going to hurt him, man, because I was bigger than him. And I was scared I was going to hurt him, so I took it easy. Evan White out of 150. Puff was a uh, refractor, I think, yeah. You fought Mayweather and beat Zach, bro.
If I seen Floyd Money Mayweather, I would just ask to take a picture in his Bugatti, bro. <laughs> Honestly. I would let him kick my ass for a, for a sh even a million. I'd let him knock me out for a million dollars. Half a million he can knock me out. As long as you got a doctor on site. Oh, a hit for... Bro, I would take... Feliciano, if you got $100,000 for every hit you took, 100% I would stand up there and I would literally take as many hits as physically possible before, like, I see stars and stuff. Just one hit? Oh, come on. I mean, I would definitely still do it, bro, but I don't think he could knock me out on one hit for 100 grand. I don't think you can do it. I don't weigh 225, but Purple Auto Howlett for the Red Sox. I feel like I could survive a hit. How did Connor make per hit in their bout? Oh, dude. It's got to be close to that, bro. I mean, he cashed us. It had to be over $100 million. I'm telling you, dog. People underestimate how much money these dudes make, man. Like, some guy came in and said Logan Paul and KSI. Bro, I'm telling you right now. The winner of that fight got over $100 million, $250, Dahlbeck. And the loser of that fight got $50 plus million. And I would, bro, I would take a beating for $100 million. I'm talking about one inch of my life this man left me for a hundred million. What up, T Shaw? It's crazy, man, how much money these dudes make. Like, the UFC is definitely on a lower pay grade than boxing, but, bro, boxing has had some huge payday matches, bro. Like, the McGregor fight... I think they paid the two fighters over four hundred million. I'm s Joey. I'm so sorry, man. Like I freaking keep crushing you on this, even when you get the Yanks. I'm so sorry, man. Please forgive me. I feel so bad, man. Like, it's literally not even funny how many times I've hit you the Yankees and skunked you, bro. I mean, you didn't skunk, but you didn't hit a Dominguez, you know? $650 million. See, that's what I'm saying. What? And people were wondering why McGregor retired today. Like, bruh, homie's sitting on $250 million just from the Mayweather fight, bro. You think he needs to work another day in his life? That man just cashed a $250 million paycheck. And he lost. He didn't even win. Mayweather got damn near half a billion for winning. They'll go first thing tomorrow, bro, T-Shaw. First thing tomorrow, I'm doing wheel spins with a progressive guest, bro. For sure, that Witt Jr. True Blue was definitely hot, bro. It's sick. Go like the pics on the Instagram. He's making millions on his piss whiskey. I, honestly, bro, I'm not a big whiskey fan, bro. I like I like white liquor or clear liquor. Me personally, I got some some not good memories on whiskey, bro. Peach bird dog. I used to drink cheap shit though. Like Jameson ain't cheap, but I used to drink that a little bit. I like Jameson, but bro, like peach bird dog. I used to get peach bird dog all the time, and I thought it was the shit. But it's trash. I 
puked freaking. I've had I, I puked once drinking peach bird dog and I swore never to drink it again, bro, because it was literally like the worst night of my life. One of them. But me and my dad have been making moonshine since I was a, a little lad. T. Shaw, that's why I like white liquor. I can make some banging moonshine, bro. Banging. I can make you some of the smoothest 190 or 180 proof you've ever drank in your life. Out here in North Krakalaka. This was a nice case, man. Thanks for the fill, boys. Sorry, Floyd 275, Connor 130. Shit, even 130. Bro, I'm telling you right now, I could retire for the rest of my life and never work a day on five, five million. Thanks for the fill, fellas. 68's in the box.